I'm pulling the strings behind the scenes, you know? I saw a bad play coming in. I figured I'd cut the power. <laughs> My name is Pete Costas Triantophilus, General Manager of Costas Inn. Costas Triantophilus, presumably I'm the owner. <laughs> Costas Inn is a family-owned business for over 51 years, opened in 1971, serving Baltimore's finest dishes, the iconic crab cake, fresh seafood, and of course, Maryland steamed crabs. Came from Greece as a 15-year-old in 1955, Five dollars in my pocket, and I did have no one word of English. So today, what I've accomplished, I'm very proud. My business, my family, my customers, my friends, but most of all, I'm more thankful for this country. It's the American dream. It came from Greece, started with nothing, and turned this into a, an icon in this part of Baltimore. As a kid, I was always here working, messing around as a, as a young kid, but then after high school and a couple years of college, I came home full time. So from 17 years old, I, I came in, started managing, running the place, and, and the rest is history. How lucky am I to work with my dad for you know, my entire life, side by side, every day? It's just, it doesn't get any better than that. To work with your family and build something that means everything to you, having people come in and leave happy, that's just really puts it all into a really good place. Oh, no, guys, I got your order cooking. Good deal. Next Extra crab material, stuff shrimp. Yes. Gonna yes. fix it up real nice. You know, we make a traditional Baltimore crab cakes, no bells and whistles. We uh, have some breadcrumb that has been put into the Cuisinart, make it nice and flaky, and then we're gonna jazz up the flavor a little bit. Just uh, gonna add some parsley, and then the Old Bay gives it a little kick. So we have 10 pounds of jumbo lump, all jumbo lump crab meat. We toss that in and we get a nice consistency there. And now we're ready for our imperial sauce. It's egg, it's mayonnaise, it's spices, dry mustard, Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, combination of all these flavors. Our costas and seasonings, a big ingredient in that. Gently toss this together. Gonna gently toss this just to get it all blended together equally. And you just wanna be careful not to break the lumps up because that's what you're buying. You're buying jumbo lump, colossal meat, and you wanna keep it all nice and together. When folks come back, they come back because they like something. And when they come back, they want it the same way they had it before. This is the authentic, traditional Baltimore crab cake. It's definitely the most volume menu item that we have. These are our steamed crabs, of course. Um, this is an ongoing process, day in and day out. In the ice, make them numb, live in the pot, steam them up, onto the tray, onto the customer, nonstop all day long. We have lottery, we have check cashing, uh, daily operations go from the carry out to the steam crabs, to the kitchen, restaurant, the bar, there's, there's, there's a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, well this is a whole nother element. This is almost like we're a bank, <laughs> you know, <laughs> cashing checks. When Bethlehem still had 40,000 people, there was a line around the bar and we'd cash checks for, you know, five, six, seven, eight hours at a time. Remember when your mother used to open up on Wednesday, they waited for her outside to open yeah. up at six o'clock in the morning. Because there were three shifts down there. So seven o'clock, they'd be pouring in here to cash their check. They're getting off like happy hour. Mm -hmm. They want to cash their check and they want to drink. The area where we are is definitely a working class area. Very, very strong in community. Um, it's just a wonderful, just, you can't find a better place. You really can. And we've been here for 51 years and the community is so tight, supportive, and it's a, it's a very, very, very great environment. When dad bought the place, Bethlehem Steel was <clears throat> three miles down the road. So this is a very, very industrial area, uh, working man's place, cash and checks, beer, just we were from six in the morning to two in the morning. So that was the business model for 20, 30 years. Uh, this area here is Ferris Point, so that's Bethlehem Steel. That's the plant that had 40,000 people working there. So this is all gone. So we went full-fledged restaurant, full-service, crab cakes, everything made from scratch. We, we just reinvented the wheel and uh, just turned it into what it is today. Just a, a landmark that people just uh, come to uh, when they come into Baltimore. They, they want to come to Costas.
Big Orioles, big Raven bar. Yeah, and uh, and caps. Yeah, but uh, it's 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 a big sports bar for sure. Big big fan base in Baltimore. We're uh, we're definitely purple on Sunday. <laughs> The best crab cake you can get in And I've had them all. We had our seats and everybody canceled on us because of the rain. And John goes to me, where do you want to go? And I said, I want to come to Costa. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, here we go. Fourth. Come on. Come on. Get rid of it. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Damn. Three points. You ain't hitting no four hundred million dollars, buddy. Would you like something, something to drink? Yeah, I'll take a uh, unsweetened iced tea. Iced tea? Yeah. And can I have a Natty Bell as well? Natty Bell, Jack? Yeah. Yes, please. Like I found out about this place. And I talked to one of my best friends. And I was like, "Hey, what's the best crab place in Baltimore?" And she immediately just said, "Pastas. Nowhere else. Just this place." And everyone that comes here lives around the area, and it's amazing. Like, in all honesty, like, the, the income level in Baltimore like, isn't really super high, so to have so many locals come and drop hundreds of dollars on crabs and seafood, it's like a really big testament to how good the food is here. All right, let's do this uh, crab cakes. This is the best crab cake in Baltimore, hands down. I'm so ready, my body's ready. And cream spinach. Thank you. It's like walking into like your aunt's or your grandma's house, you know? They always recognize you, they remember your name. Um, it's a really incredible spot. We've been around for 50 years, well, multiple generations. The whole family works here. It's a love and care that goes into everything that, that they do here is absolutely incredible. Again, <laughs> what is going on, man? I'm telling oh. you, we can't put it together. Uh, we'll drown our sorrows. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> well, my uncle's here. My mom is here. And a lot of a lot of the recipes she had started from when she was here. So that was a great base to start with. My brother's here. My sister's here. My wife is here. Yeah. Well, when you work closely with family, of course, you're gonna have some bumps in the road. So we had some differences, but we see eye to eye. So any differences that we had, they were, they were very small. And we work, we always work through them, and we just see things the same way. So that really uh, makes it a lot easier working together. And it's a passion, you know. Everything in here is passion. He's taught me everything I know. He, he's the one that taught me about money. So like when you went to the cash register and you put their exchange like twenty dollars, he's like, you can't use that. He wouldn't let me use that, so I had to count back. So I've been here ever since I was what three years old. I can remember from the last place to here, just. It's a community, a family. Doesn't matter if you're blood or you're not. We just have a very tight knit group. My daughters work here on and off. Uh, my brother's kids worked here. His 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 son works here. So yeah, we've had. It's a whole, literally, family-run business. I've been here for 23 years, but I was a customer before I was a worker. So a long time. Yeah, we've been through a lot together. Yeah, life's challenges and making it through the different pandemic and all that good stuff, right? Yes, we did. Uh, you know, when a family runs a place, it's pretty hard to get along, you know, but thank God we don't have no problems. You know, family sometimes, you know, it's, you have the wrong points there, but I thank God, you know, with, you know, my brother-in-law, I've been with my brother-in-law here since he's been, you know, 51 years. Him and my daughter, everybody, you know, so it's pretty hard to get along with a family, but thank God, you know, everything works well. All my life, I've been to satisfy the people. You know, I go out of my way, you know, to make sure everybody, when they leave from here, is happy, and all the people, friends and stuff. I, you know, like one time when, you know, I got busy and stuff, I left and I just said goodnight to them. I got halfway home, I turned it out, and apologized, I had to say goodnight. He drove all the way back here to say goodnight. It's just that way I am. But I think that's what makes us so it, successful because it all starts from the top. Yeah, we've had several offers to go into other parts of, the, of Baltimore and open up other locations. But, you know, it's just, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, 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 lots of opportunities and uh, but we just declined. Uh, we just rather just expand from here and just run this place 100% with our own efforts 
and make sure that we please everyone that comes in. We're proud of what we've done over the last 51 years and we just want to keep it going and uh, it, it just, uh, that, that means everything to us. Uh, to be in this location and, and, and have done what we have and just looking forward to what we have uh, in the future.